welcome back to my channel. So today I am super excited because my Tati Beauty palette has arrived. It actually arrived two days ago and I was so frantic. I was like, oh my gosh, I want to film, but I didn't want to rush the process. I wanted to enjoy the palette. This is volume one and the retail was $48. And what's really exciting was that when I ordered it online, oh my gosh, I got to get it. So I got it online and then I got a little bit like nervous because I wanted to make sure I was going to get it because the website was obviously going because everybody wanted to get their palettes and it was kind of taking a while and I that's what made me kind of nervous. I was like, oh my gosh, what happens if they're already sold out? Because I didn't do it like right when it launched and I ended up picking up two more palettes for you guys but in a separate order because I ordered mine and I didn't know how to change the quantity and I didn't want to go back and have it like reset and then I like missed out. So I was like, okay, it's not a big deal. Let me just purchase my own palette and then I'll just do it again for my fine apples and I did it. So I accidentally, not accidentally, but I knew I was gonna pay double shipping because I did the fastest shipping and I didn't care because I wanted to make sure I can get you guys some palettes as well. But first I needed to make sure I had mine, right? So so taught to release our palette and it is absolutely stunning. I'm sure there's like a million reviews on this already, but the palette looks so amazing. Her whole setup is really cool because probably from reviews, which I have not seen any full reviews. I have not seen any tutorials. I wanted no inspo on nothing because I wanted my own reaction to see it. And I was like, whoa, like I, w I wanted to get my reaction on camera, but I couldn't wait you guys. So I'm sorry. If you look at it, each row basically has like the same color, but in different hues and different finishes. So she has a color memory, ritual, story, soothe, aura, and poet. All of her shades right here and they're all the row is that shade. And then she has four different finishes. So the first row is gonna be glitter, the next will be metallic, the next row will be sequin, and then the last row will be matte, which I thought was super, super cool for her to just lay it out. I love the formula of the glitters as well. I know people were probably wondering like, oh, is it kind of sticky, is it gritty? When you swatch them, like, look at that. It's so pigmented, but it's a nice formula where it keeps intact, where it's, I don't know what they put in there, but it definitely holds. And it's not just loose, gritty glitter, which I've seen in a lot of palettes and I'm not a fan of. I will say the metallic shades are super silky. The sequin ones are as well. I'm gonna be doing some live swatches, so. Let's just go in with this one right here. All right guys, so I just realized I like jumped ahead and I just started swatching stuff. So let's take our time. We're gonna come back to the palette. I'm gonna show you how she packaged everything because I think that's also a really big deal because sometimes when you order things online, they're not packaged as well. So when you open it up, you will see Tati's beautiful face. I absolutely love her photo. It is not like, it's just like she's an angel. It's just like, like so beautiful. Wrap it in this packaging right here, which is really nice because it gave some really nice cushion. And there you go. Since I had a double palette, there was obviously double padding. On the bottom of the box right here, it says, beautiful is your story to tell, which I think is a beautiful quote, which is so true. It is wrapped in plastic like this. I'm gonna keep this second one wrapped just because this is a giveaway. So I'm gonna put this one to the side and then it is wrapped right here. Now I'm gonna show you mine because I don't wanna ruin these for you guys. We'll say this is the type of material like uh, the Lorac palettes or NARS packaging. And I don't think it's gonna get too dirty, but honestly, I don't mind these because you can wipe them off very easily. The mirror is also huge, which I love. It's really nice and clear, and I have lipstick on my teeth. Cool. Got it. Probably because I'm talking and like my, my lips are like morphing and all of that because I am that excited, you guys. I have watched Tati for so many years. I just love everything about her, her reviews. I just, like I said, and later on in the video, to me, she's like the makeup godmother and I was so happy to support her. I wish I would have been on her PR list. Like you guys already know, I'm not all about, oh, I have to be on this PR list. I've gotten kicked off of PR list for being so honest with products and brands don't appreciate that unfortunately but this is like one PR list which I wish I was on because I love her so much but I just wanted to make sure I got my baby and I did. Let's go into some swatches all over again sorry because I got just so into it so now we're gonna swatch the metallic shade right here look at that it looks super wet the sequin finish and the sequin finish is amazing because when you see the swatch, 
you could still see the little micro shimmers in there. And usually when you swatch stuff and you use it on your eye, they disappear. This one actually stays, you guys. Like, look at that. You see the shimmers in there are matte, which a black is definitely hard to pull off sometimes. It can get very weird and chalky and has like a weird pigmentation where it doesn't blend out as well. Let's swatch. This is the first time I'm swatching it. Right there. Wow. That was probably the smoothest black I have ever swatched, like ever. Like look how smooth that went on. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the other one. So let's get into that right now. So now we're gonna go into the tutorial. You guys will see how I did my eye look. I will also make sure I leave all the rules and everything for the giveaway as well, so good luck. Okay guys, so let's get started. So I went ahead and already prepped my eyes. I don't know what kind of look I'm gonna do, but I'm honestly so excited to just finally have this in my hands. <gasps> Oh my gosh. I think I want to go for something sultry and smoky. Whatever I do, I plan on doing more videos with this palette. Right now, I'm just like dipping into it just to see how it's really going to work. So it's not really for the creative aspect right now. I'm going to go into Soothe right here and we're going to blend that right into my crease. Ooh, I'm already like obsessed. I'm like, yes, I love it. This is blending out super fast. And then all the brushes I am using are Sigma. You guys know I'm Ride or Die with Sigma. I was actually a customer of them before I even started my YouTube and I got the whole big set. And I do have a coupon code. The code is WHOOP. That is good site wide. You can use it whenever you want. Okay, this is already the most beautiful crease shade. I love browns like this that just blow out so easily. Let's add a little bit more smoke and I'm not really gonna work with the lid yet just because I wanna work with some of the glitters later on. Ritual, we're gonna start deepening this outer portion, okay, that came very, very pigmented pretty quick, but look how fast that blended out. That was like literally one, two, three, four, boom. I'm already obsessed with this eyeshadow formula. I love any eyeshadow formula that's gonna be easy to work with and just blow out. There's just some that you place a color, like how I did right now, and it just takes forever to blow it out, and you still get like harsh lines. I haven't watched one tutorial. I didn't want to, I didn't want to get inspo, I didn't want nothing. I just want to create my own look, so we're gonna do it. Do it, do it, do it. The brush I am using is a tapered blending, and then the one that I used for my crease was the E40, my legit holy grail brush to diffuse out the crease. I just want like a nice chocolate brown, and this is definitely it because sometimes they're just so warm or they're too cool and they look like ashy. Now I'm gonna go back into Soothe just because I wanna blow out that crease a little bit more. I knew she was gonna do a good job because I mean, dude, it's Tati. She's literally like a beauty robot. I knew she was gonna come out with like a great formula. It wasn't gonna disappoint. To me, I look at her as the makeup godmother. You know, when the fairy godmother comes and she's like, bippity bobbity boo, boom. Here you go, the palette of your dreams. You don't even need to wait till midnight. You have all night to find your prince <laughs> or princess. This metallic is calling my name and story. We're gonna place this on the inner portion of the eye and we're gonna work from there. I figured I'd do something with a little bit more color and then go into the charcoal just so it'll show up more instead of like a light gold because then it'll just blend too much. Definitely wanna add some color. I'm one where I always like fake a cut crease and I'll take my shader brush and I'll take it and I'll just start blending it over like this. I did cut crease it, but I really didn't just to shape it out. I like the gold speckles in it and it's not too tangerine. These are already deeper oranges that this one is perfect to add in some gold. Memory with that same brush into the sequin formula. Let's see how this one looks because I don't want it. Okay, yeah, this is definitely, wow, that's, that's very pigmented. Okay, this like legit took over. Okay, <laughs> wait, wait. I'm gonna go into the metallic instead and place that on top because the sequin one wasn't the finish I wanted. <sighs> I have a little bit of fallout, but that's what happens with metallic shades. Again, we're just like playing around with it. You know, I might just like boot the orange portion, but I kind of wanted like some color. I kind of want to just take it out or maybe I'll put actually a light gold in there. Okay, we're gonna go over it because I got way too excited. I didn't know what I was doing with this palette. I just went overboard. Now we're gonna go into this metallic. It's this shade right here. 
It almost makes your eyelids look wet. Then we're gonna go into, let's see, a shader brush. This one is called Shader Lid E56. This is great for precise placement. And then we're gonna go into this shade right here, Aura, but the metallic version. Yeah, this looks better over that orangey shade. Cause see, now it'll blend more. Wow, that is like the silkiest freaking highlight shade ever. This is so smooth, like I can feel it on the brush as it glides and it's just going and going. Yeah, I'm pretty sure a lot of you can agree that you like this one much better than the orange shade. We're just playing around, we're just playing around. I'm gonna go back into memory, into the metallic shade and start bringing that shade again. That looks way more balanced. I didn't like the orange in the inner corner. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back into this one and we're gonna start smoking out the outer portion a little bit more, blend everything out and just smoke it out. I feel like we're going for like a New Year's Eve look. I will say on the sequin formula for memory, this one has kind of a lot of kickback to it. I don't know if you can see it falling, but there's definitely, see how it fell? some kickback, that's a very, very soft shadow, which isn't a bad thing, but it does. I'm just warning you right now. And obviously with all the metallics and the glitter and sequin shades, you're gonna have fallout. It's just inevitable. I'm gonna bring a little smoke up above and then I'm gonna go back into Soothe, our crease color. And we're gonna just kind of diffuse around very softly because I don't wanna take away any color, just to diffuse it, see? Very simple, wow, it went from zero to 100 real quick. Okay, now I'm just gonna take a little bit of micellar water just so I can clean around my face so you can see the amount of fallout that I have. I mean, it's bound to have fallout. I used so many glitters. I definitely use the metallics and the sequin shades, but this is why I always do my eyes first. If you guys are gonna make a brush purchase, I highly recommend just adding this to your bag so you can give it a try. It is bomb. Also a must have and a holy grail wing liner brush is a wing liner brush. And this one is called the EO6. It's really nice and thin has the best control. Obviously I am affiliated with Sigma, but I have bought my own wing liner brushes whenever they have their sale. I probably have like 20 because I'm psycho. Hi. Next, I'm just gonna go into some wing liner. Look how nice and black this is and it's so easy to work with. And the wing liner brush just makes it so easy. So if you have like a struggle making a wing, I highly suggest checking this baby out. If you want a master gel liner, or if you already have your favorite gel liner, try out this brush, it's gonna bring it to another level. Okay, now we're just gonna start flicking this out. Right there. Look how easy it was to make that flick. And now I'm just gonna go into here and connect. There you go. So I went ahead and just cleaned up my wing liner with some concealer and then I added in one of my favorite lashes which is from Coco and it's in the style Goddess, I believe. Here we go, this is what it's looking like. Really nice, super, super glam. Obviously I have to do the rest of my face so it balances out, but I can't wait because I'm gonna bring like this highlighted portion right here and I wanna add some of the glitter on the inner corner and see how it's gonna look. Hopefully I don't get it in my eye. I'm gonna do the rest of my face and we'll be right back because I wanna concentrate all on the palette. I feel like I'm looking a little raccoonish just because I don't have the bottom done. We are gonna go into memory right here in sequin. We're gonna start bringing that to the bottom and start smudging that with the smudger brush. I usually don't like doing too much to my bottom lower lash line just because it makes my eyes much smaller, but whenever I do a smoky eye, I always do. I'm just gonna bring a little bit of smoke here and then we're gonna liven it up. That's usually what I do because I don't like it too, too smoky. We're gonna go into Ritual, but the sequin formula right up here. I'm gonna take the same smudger brush and I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out right below there. Just so we can soften it so it's not so harsh. Now I'm gonna go into Aura and I'm gonna go into the metallic right here. And I'm gonna bring this to the bottom portion of my eye look. Just because it is so smoky, so I always like bringing that light, like I said. And then I'll blend that into the smoky portion. See, and it just kind of softens it up a bit. It's not so like, whoo, raccoon. Next, I'm just gonna add some mascara. This is the Lights Camera Splashes mascara. I'm really liking the look so far. Now, I'm gonna go into the glitter. I don't know how this is really gonna work. I think I'm gonna go into Aura's glitter just because it is just so stunning. I have a shader in her corner, E46. It is very, very small, so it is perfect 
for precise application. We're just gonna go into it. Definitely has like that color pop vibe and we're just gonna slowly pat some of this glitter in here so it doesn't get into my eye. I'm just gonna pat, pat, pat right there. Oh my gosh, I'm already obsessed. Then we're just gonna take a little on the inner corner on this portion. Oh my gosh, this looks so pretty. I hope you guys can really see. And we're just gonna slowly blend it slightly because I don't want it just right in this portion. I want it to blend out. Wow, that looks so pretty. And no fallout so far. It's like really sticking to the brush, which is great. And you barely need any, you guys. Like I softly dipped into the palette. Next, I'm just setting my face with my Maybelline Superstay. I'm gonna contour with my Maybelline City Bronzer. Next, I'm just gonna use a cream blush from ColourPop called Over Dramatic. I love this just because because sometimes that's exactly what I am. You guys, the look is finally coming together. I always get so nervous when I do, not nervous, but more like, is this ugly or is this shit gonna work? Once you put on lashes and you do your face and concealer, it's like, all right, I'm looking human. And then to highlight my face, I've been trying to use like my old MAC highlighters. I feel like I've been neglecting them so much. This one is in Fairly Precious. This was like one of my favorite ones. So it's kind of like peachy, frosty-esque. <laughs> And we're just gonna bring that. It makes your cheek just look really nice and wet. Do you guys have like a bunch of highlighters that you feel like you're ignoring? Because I definitely love highlight, but I feel like there's no way I can just neglect my old ones because you start using like the same ones and then it's like, what happened to your old ones that you loved? I'm just gonna bring it down my nose, just a little. I like this one because it's very easy to work with. It's not like too intense. Like I love the Ofer ones, but the other day I put it on, I mixed two shades together and I saw myself, I was like, whoa, light bulb at the end of my nose. But they're beautiful though. Just add a little to the chin. I've been into this like this whole year. And then for my lip, I'm gonna use, I'm trying to use a lot of stuff that I don't really pick up a lot. This is 110 Raw Sugar. It's a really beautiful shade. I just feel like their lipsticks almost look like testers kind of, right? It looks like I stole this, but this is the lipstick. And then it's slanted on each side. And then I just go up like this. And like just there. It's a beautiful shade. Super, super moisturizing as well. I am obsessed with this eye look. I thought the palette worked out really well. The only thing I will say that I noticed some fallout on certain shades, but it's just because they're so buttery and smooth. It's nothing that's like uncommon or out of the norm, but they blended out so beautifully. Like honestly, when I do my smoky eyes, and I will always admit when I'm not good at something, like I'm not good at contouring, sometimes it just looks like straight mud, but the blending of this shadow was very easy for me, which is not, usually I have more, more crappy blending. Let's just say that with smoky shades, but look at that. All right guys, well that is gonna be it for today's video. Go ahead and show your girl some love down below. Let me know, do you guys wanna pick up the palette? You guys might win the palette today in today's video. Let me know what you guys think. I absolutely love Tati, so I was very happy to support her. Let me know your thoughts, I'd love to know. Don't forget to subscribe to your girl. I have my vlog channel, What Lizzie Vlog, and I'll see you beautiful people in the next one. Mwah. Here we go, it's all about you. It's all about me, it's all about what we do. Making art, you and me Trying to find something to